We rope drop Radiator Springs races today while early entry was at Disneyland. Is it any better? Well, yeah, of course, but by how much? Let's find out. And at 7.41 in the morning on this Thursday morning as we follow this current of guests down Buena Vista Street towards Rope Drop at the Parade Corridor destination, Radiator Springs Racers, 8 a.m. That's our competition at about 7.45 in the morning as we wait for that 8 a.m. rope drop. The goal here today is to rope drop Raider Springs Racers because this is the day, one of the days, where there is no early entry from DCA. If you're going to rope drop Raider Springs Racers as a standby guest, as a non-hotel guest, you want to do it on a Tuesday, a Thursday, or a Saturday because obviously those are the days where the early entry is happening at Disneyland. So we're getting no competition from hotel guests at Raider Springs Racers. That is the reason why you don't rope drop it on a Monday or a Wednesday or a Sunday or a Friday <laughs> because you will be getting copious amounts of guests from the hotels into the park at 7.30 a.m. well ahead of the 8 a.m. guests. You rope drop Raider Springs Racers on one of those days on a DCA early entry day. Your standby wait is going to be about an hour at rope drop. I've done this. I've experienced it. It is roughly an hour at rope drop. <laughs> what it's going to be like today, I don't know, because we have a fairly brisk crowd here this morning. It's pretty deep, fairly competitive, and I would imagine a solid 80, 90% of these guests are going to be heading straight from Raider Springs Racers. Having said that, there is nobody in the queue right now, so that's going to be the limit of our competition. So I'm hoping, I'm expecting that we're in our vehicle by about 20 after 8 a.m. I No doubt about it. Almost everybody's making a hard left right there into Radiator Springs or Cars Land. Oh my God. Are you serious? <laughs> Like, I don't even know what kind of commentary to add at this point. It looks like it is open. One thing you'll want to be doing is checking the app before the park opens to make sure that the ride is open. But the cast member actions here are telling us that they are trying to filter us to the right a little bit. We're going to try to create a queue, which suggests that uh, the attraction is open at 8 a.m., which is the first hurdle. Kind of exciting because obviously the last time we tried this on an early entry day for DC or not an early entry it rained so we couldn't do it and the last time we tried that before it, the, the attraction didn't open it, it didn't make it to opening the time before that it took an hour so this is pretty much a first for me I think under these conditions Thank you. 
everybody, everybody went to Rainier Springs. This is wild. We'll check the uh, the app once we find the back of the queue. Once we get in there, to see what the standby is. Oh, we've already found the back. It says 80 on the board. That's wild. I mean, obviously they're getting ready. It is 8.03 right now as we approach the entrance. Emma! Emma! Got some jumpers, the single rider. That always helps. I would definitely recommend that, even at rope drop. I would recommend that. So 8.05, took us took a couple minutes to get to the threshold there. And they've already rerouted. They're extending the queue already. This in order to relieve the congestion on Route 66. recon efforts which we are still working on this but it's taking forever to do 30 rides each one of these sections is worth you know a point where I mark the time but it's good that we skip that one we're skipping this one we're going straight to the bottle room yeah it looks like the bottle room is full about ready to start filling guests into this section right here. Bottle room is full, which gives us, oh, hold on. So I would consider this to be the back of the queue, because this is where we finally really stopped. And they're, yeah, they're doing the bottle, bottle room is full, they're, plus they're using the side yard back there, so we're looking at about, 15 minutes from this point if there's no competition from Lightning Lane. Just escaped the bottle room at 819. We've got the ramp to get to the mix point and then the final couple switchbacks up there. So we're looking at probably another six minutes, 825 is my guess for the ride vehicle. <laughs> this is taking longer than I thought it would. 8.24 as we head up the ramp. I still don't see a lot of uh, influence on or of from Lightning Lane. So this is just, it's just, there's a lot of people here. It's 8.24, we're on the ramp. Usually I clock the ramp at about three, or the, the final switchback here in about three minutes. So we'll be into our vehicle at 8.27 which is good compared to what historically you might find in Raider Springs races for sure. But we were close to optimal. We're gonna have some more thoughts on this as we get through the queue and through the ride, but this was very interesting.
8.35 as we head out of Radiator Springs Racers. The trash should complete. I have kind of mixed feelings about the results. But real quick before we get into that, posted wait time is now 70 minutes. Actually, it just dropped down to 55 as we record this. Uh, I would be a little bit suspicious of that. But I gotta think at this time in the morning, at 8.40 in the morning, there's probably still not gonna be too much. It won't be long before lightning lanes start checking in. But right now, you're probably not gonna get too much competition. So that 55 could be, could be about right. We saw the back of the queue at the second bridge, which is a long queue. And that means that they have filled all three sections inside the, the bottle room, the service station, and the barn. All three of those are full. <laughs> so uh, it's, it doesn't take long for Raider Springs Racers to meet or to get to its typical capacity. And it could grow even further from there, just depending on, you know, the, the, the flow of the park and lightning lane and all that kind of thing. And while we discuss our results from Raider Springs Racers, we're going to make our way down to Pixar Pier. Typically, uh, I would choose on our, you know, my previous tests, I would have gone to either Soren or Mission Breakout from this point. But I, we do this so often, we never go down to Pixar Pier. So we're going to find out uh, what, what it's like down there at this point in the morning at 8.40. I just checked the tip board and uh, Incredicoaster is 10 minutes, but Toy Story is closed. I'm hoping that by the time we get to, you know, or get done with Incredicoaster, Toy Story will be open. As for Raider Springs Racers, 35, objectively, is a good time. Uh, there, you won't have pretty much any opportunity to hit Raider Springs Racers in 35 minutes at any point for the rest of the day, except for maybe the last hour of the day. So that's a win. 35 minutes is good. Now we And we did that, though, uh, operating almost optimally in the morning we got here the gates hadn't even opened when we got to the park we were uh, at the you know uh, entry gates at 7 30 no 7 25 i think it was but they didn't open the gates until 7 35 but there was a pretty decent crowd there ahead of us and as i mentioned at the rope drop you know pretty much 90 percent of those guests are going to be going to raider springs so it didn't take long for that to fill up so you really, I don't know how. <laughs> I've got to figure out a way. What are the conditions to get you all the way to the front of that rope? Do you have to, I mean, are you, do you have to be a hotel guest, I wonder? Who isn't doing early entry at Disneyland, who chooses to do early entry at DCA? Because I don't, I can't get, I can't get to the gate any sooner from Toy Story than I did. Hey, good morning. We arrived at the Toy Story parking lot at about 6.55, I believe it was. They, you know, there's a rope drop for that as well. When we arrived, they hadn't yet opened the gates to the parking lot. And I believe it's the same at Mickey Prince parking structure. So it's difficult. I always park at Toy Story, so I don't know what the current situation, I'm gonna have to do a rope drop at the Mickey and Prince parking structure soon to confirm this. But I, I feel like it's difficult to get into the Esplanade before 7.30. Unless you're at, unless you're staying in one of the hotels. Uh, or maybe, maybe you're staying at a good neighbor hotel in Harbor or something like that. But <laughs> that, that's your competition in the morning. So it's, I guess what I'm saying is you really have to be almost perfect to get to the front of the rope at DCA on a, you know, a Radiator Springs rope drop. 8.44 as we arrive at the Incredicoaster. Coaster. This should be a virtual walk-on. I hear voices, what am I hearing? I don't know. Uh, this should be a virtual walk-on, I think, and I'm hoping that this time spent here will give us time for Toy Story to open. Oh my god, they're so excited. <laughs> That's great. Before we get on to my credit coaster, let me finish my thoughts. 38 minutes is pretty good. 
getting out the vehicle or getting being done with the ride, you know, in that time is, is pretty good for Raider Springs racers, but that's still a long time. That's still a long time to spend on one attraction at Rope Trot. That's expensive. And I don't, I mean, it doesn't, it still doesn't beat single rider. I would still skip, I think, Raider Springs Racers and Rope Drop and still recommend single rider even if you're in a group. Find a way to, you know, be okay with that and you're going to save a lot more time. Uh, so I would rather spend my Rope Drop doing something like uh, Mission Breakout or even starting here and starting at Toy Story and in Credit Coaster and then working your way back or maybe Goofy's Sky School and working your way back in the mid-morning and then and just finding a time somewhere else in the day to do Raider Springs Racers. That's my, you know, that would be my strategy. But obviously I do Disneyland differently than a lot of folks, but I just feel like 40 minutes is a long time to, to give, to commit, optimally. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I could do better than 40 minutes, all in. You have to be perfect to do better than that. Seven, 13 minutes to our ride vehicle. Might be one of my more favorite rides on a credit coaster in quite some time. Very smooth this morning. Uh, so 13 minutes to our vehicle. That was a little. It was posted at 10. I thought it was going to be quicker than that. Actually, I thought it was going to be under 10. But I noticed while I was there that they had uh, only one side of the tracks loading. It looks like they have opened up the other side. But that's something that you'll find often on a rope drop morning, especially with uh, in situ like Big Thunder's the same way. They don't automatically just run all the vehicles right at the rope drop. Uh, so the, the, that has an impact on how quickly you can get through. If they had had both sides open, that would have been 13. Just something to observe if you get here, you know, maybe take a look and see how long the queue is versus whether or not they're, they're running both sides of the track. As they are, as, as I mentioned, they are now. So this is that's one reason maybe that you don't have to be in a hurry to get to a credit coaster. Maybe you put a credit coaster third or fourth on your list. With that said, that is complete. Let's go check in on Toy Story Midway Mania. See if that's reopened. Interesting. The app says it's closed, but I see guests going in. And sure enough, it, this is open. So they have it. This is ideal. This is about perfect. I don't think we could do any better than this. This is, in fact, impossible to du duplicate, I would imagine, because the app hasn't even caught up yet, which means nobody's here, which means I'm going to make a hard left. I'm not even going to have to wait in that at all. We're going to walk on. It's 9.07, I've already got my cool 3D glasses, and we're gonna be on our vehicle in about a minute. I think it's gonna take us about one or two minutes total to get to our ride vehicle. Like I said, that's impossible to duplicate. 
pure luck getting here right when this attraction opened. Indeed. Two minutes. So I, I'm terrible. <laughs> I suck at Toy Story Midway Mania. But we did great time-wise. It's We're out of the vehicle at 9.18. That's pretty good. And it looks like the app and everything else is caught up. It's posted right now at 15 minutes at 9.19 in the morning. And you can see these guests are going to get to do the same thing we did. It's a little bit longer than we had, but these guests are making a, a hard left into the queue. They're not having to go into that extended queue, but that's probably going to change soon. It's not too late right now. It's still, you know, it took about, or it's taken about 10 minutes since it's opened to get to this point. And there's not a lot of lightning lane out here. So it's a good time right now still to get on Toy Story, but it won't be long before it catches up. I know the app isn't popular with some guests out there who you don't like being on your phone all the time, but I tell you what, guests in the park, the, the, the majority of guests in the park do use the app. They do look at the tip board. They do look to see when attractions are up or down and they react. So it won't be long on that. Uh, uh, oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, it won't be long before Toy Story catches up. Mike Wazowski. <laughs> He's great. And you know what? While we're here on the pier, Pixar Palorant. This is one of those attractions that I often avoid if it's anywhere near negative. I mean, if it's like, I'll point out the, the corner right here is where I'm like, no, I don't think so. But if, you don't hardly ever get a chance to get on this attraction for less than 30. Saving the rope drop period, that is the first two hours or so in the morning, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., saving that for lightning lane attractions only. I feel pretty complete. I've done three major lightning lane attractions. I feel pretty good about my morning right now. It's 9.22, and this, this is a ride that I don't get to do very often because it's usually a no-go for me. So, and plus, I'm probably gonna get my own gondola. So, I'll take that. And that is our boat. At 9.23. Everything is going so well. Things didn't go so great at Raiders Free Racers. It took a little longer than I had hoped. Incredicoaster took a little longer than I hoped. We're on our fourth attraction now at 9.24. 
including doing two Toy Story and the Pixar Pal around in a couple minutes each getting to our vehicle. I'm pretty happy. Now, I'm gonna switch to my phone because this camera has lousy zoom and I wanna get some looks backstage uh, at uh, Avengers Campus just to see if we can find anything back there that might be a clue as to maybe a new e-ticket happening back there. All right, let's take a look. I don't have as good a zoom on this thing also as I do with Grandpa. I don't have Grandpa with me today, so this will have to do. But backstage is, where is it? Okay, behind, there's Luigi's right there. So there we go, there's Mission Breakout, top third of the frame. Storage buildings back there. So in that concrete area, to the right of Mission Breakout and in front of those two storage buildings is the approximate location of the future e-ticket that they have been talking about building back here. Although they never actually confirmed where it was gonna go. It's the only place where it could go, so everybody just assumes that's it. And the concept art does show, the original concept art that they showed for this, put it behind the Avengers headquarters there in your left third. The concept art shows it behind that building, so. But I don't see anything here that suggests that they've moved anything, although we could at least create a baseline. I don't see any kind of prep work happening back there or anything like that. right? I mean that's why we get on the Pixar Pal around is for views like this. It looks like we've stopped. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we are at the very tippy top right now. I, I say oh my gosh because this is terrifying attraction for me. We are at the very tippy top. <laughs> oh I hope we live. Anyway there's San Francisco, the bridge looking terrific from every angle. Food and wine festival happening down there. You guys see the construct? Oh, I got it. Everything's open, everything's running. Maybe we'll take a drive by at Goofy Sky School after this. Maybe. First, it looks like we got some frogmen out in the World of Color Lagoon. You can see the there's a scuba diver right there on the other side of that boat. There he is. Oh, there's two of them. The World of Color rig was up for a minute as we were making our way around the pier, so they must be testing the show mechanisms. Oh, yeah, there we go. Do you see the bubbles? I mean, they're, do they're either fixing the World of Color show stage or they are looking for lost treasure. Probably the former. There it is, Crudder Coaster. We're gonna catch a loop. <laughs> All right. There they go.
looks like we're touching down. That is the Pixar Pal Around. Nine forty-eight, and we're going to close our day at Mater's Junk Air Jamboree. Not because of any sort of specific scientific reasons. I'm not trying to <laughs> figure out the optimal way to do Mater's. We're closing this because we won today, and I want to celebrate. And we're going to celebrate with my favorite ride at DCA, and that's Mater's Junk Air Jamboree for no good reason, but for fun, fun, fun. And then it was about watching them kids. And then he had another thing. <laughs> it was something about uh, jump. <laughs> All right, Dan. That ought to do it. I love Mater. Oh, I love, I I love the spiels, the Mater spiels. I'm like trying to fuck with. They're, they're my, one of my favorite quotes. I mean, everything's great about Mater. <laughs> morning here at DCA. If you like this show and want to show your support, please do consider joining our Patreon campaign. Oh my god. At patreon.com slash freshbake. Or you can follow us on Instagram at underscore freshbake. On Twitter at freshbake. No. Ah! <laughs> and on TikTok at freshbake. Disney. Until next time, thanks for watching. We <laughs> love you. Be safe out there. Be kind to one another. And fresh bank. <laughs>